You make the argument in pale blue dot that it's time to hit the road again, skyward, as in space, travel, exploration, perhaps colonies, for the very salvation of the species. How is that? Well, first off, as, as you suggest, we, uh, we are a wandering species. We come from hunter-gatherers. We uh, are nomads. And for the million years that the human family has been around, that was our lifestyle. That must be built into us deeply. It's only the last 10,000 years that we've had a settled and sedentary existence. And now the Earth is all explored. Our exploratory instincts are unfulfilled. And I think many people, I recognize not all, but many people would long for real exploration of real new worlds, even vicariously. Secondly, while I don't for a moment suggest that the Earth is a disposable planet, it is nevertheless true that we humans are now a danger to ourselves. Our technology really can cause enormous insults on the, protect, the environment that protects us, especially the atmosphere. And therefore, if we were concerned, had a prudent regard for the long-term well-being of our species, we would hedge our bets, or as conservatives like to say, we would diversify our portfolios. We would put self-sustaining human communities on many worlds, so if the worst happens, there would be an outpost of us somewhere else. Isn't the danger in that thinking, though, that we come to regard the Earth as disposable? Well, oh, we've only found this nest, let's move on to the next. It's, it's a very good question. And by the way, even Birds know not to foul their nests. How come we don't know that? Um, but the argument you've just presented would be true if it were an either-or situation. But in fact, the, uh, the cost of moving out into space done over a reasonable time scale matching the technology, which is centuries, is tiny compared to the cost of making the environment of the Earth right. These are not competitive. We should do short-term and long-term things.